Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft OneNote has some great search functionality that makes it easy to locate content you've placed in your notebooks. Just above the page tabs bar is the search field. The default search in OneNote is to search all notebooks. If you click into the search field and begin typing, you'll perform what's called a quick search. For example, let's say we've entered some information into our notebook and we can't quite remember where we placed it, but we want to find it. What we do remember is that the word alternatives definitely appears in that information, so that's what we're going to search on. We'll type that in. Now as you type, OneNote will search all of your notebooks for text that matches what you type. OneNote will narrow down the list of available locations that match your search criteria, including recent pics that we see here at the top, which are just recent pages that you've viewed, as well as instances where either the title or body of the page contain the word or words you entered. You can then click on one of the listed pages, and OneNote will take you directly to that page and even highlight the text on the page that matches your search criteria. There it is right down here. Now also note the small drop-down arrow to the right of the search field. Here you can select one of the available options to narrow your search even further. We can narrow it to search just this section, this section group, this notebook, or of course the default of all notebooks. Now as you begin to type your search term, notice the link that appears at the bottom of your search results that says Pin Search Results, and that's called Open Search Results Pane in version 2010. In either case, you can click this link to launch what's called the Search Pane to further customize your search. First, you can use the drop-down at the top to select where you want to perform the search. Again, we can search just this section, this section group, this notebook, or all notebooks by making one of those choices. You can use the sort drop down just below it to sort the search results by section, title, or date modified. The sort button to the right of that drop down is a toggle button that allows you to switch the sort from ascending to descending order and back. And so these sort options can come in handy when you have a lot of search results that you are trying to filter through to find what you're looking for. Now a final search option is the ability to search for words that appear in audio and video files that you've inserted into your OneNote pages. In order to use this search, you must turn the feature on in OneNote. Let's take a look at how you do that. To do so, click the File tab in the ribbon to enter Backstage View. Next, click the Options command on the left, and then select the Audio and Video command on the left-hand side of the OneNote Options dialog box. Next, click to select the checkbox next to Enable Searching Audio and Video Recordings for Words at the bottom of the dialog box. OneNote will display a box letting you know the requirements for this feature to work. Since the computer is interpreting human voices, it's not a perfect technology. This type of search can also slow down your search results as it takes OneNote longer to scan and identify words in these recordings. Click Enable Audio Search and then click OK to confirm the changes. Now let's take a look at our search again. When we click in there to begin our search, you'll notice at the bottom then of the pane that that's changed to a command that says pin note and audio search results pane here at the bottom. So this time when we've entered that information that will change and let us know that it's searching for the audio files as well. 
At this point, we can give that a click to open up the search pane. And now we can find that we have our different choices. Here's our individual meetings, and here are our search results with alternatives and where they're located in an audio recording. And so this time, when we click on that link, it will take you not only to that page and that particular audio recording or video recording that you inserted, but it will also jump directly to the spot where the word appears. It's a pretty neat feature. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.